Assalamu alaikum, hello uh, and welcome everyone uh, to my YouTube channel uh, Security Pulse where we empower professionals and enterprises to uh, keep informed and secure uh, with technology and security and uh, you know, advancements. So today's topic is about how you can identify exposed IoT devices. This is a very interesting topic and it comes down to uh, the fact that whenever we we see compromise you know or, or any ip targeting our systems any malicious ip or uh, if we have the equipments on the site you know and if those are compromised so the first thing that what we think of uh, as a security organization is to identify that hey what what is the impact you know uh, uh, so if you know the location and uh, some metadata behind uh, those devices which are which are exposed you know so we we can be in a better position to handle those kind of situations you know? so that is what i wanted to cover in this video which is uh, will going to be very very interesting okay so let us start with a use case the use case is the cyber security firm which is tasked with conducting a security audit for a large retail chain that has numerous internet of thing devices you know so think about a factory which has iot devices which are potentially exposed uh, and they want to track down that you know what are those sites you know uh, and those devices can be smart cameras point of sale terminals or hvac controls where they are using those iot devices you know okay the objective of this uh, scenario is that they have to identify first of all any exposed devices that could potentially be accessed by malicious actors uh, thereby ensuring the security of customer data and integrity of the network so as they can find those exposed devices they first of all will prevent the public access uh, maybe do some triage that hey whether those have any vulnerabilities why those are exposed publicly and 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 then uh, be in a position to come up with some strategy that what what they should do about this you know so the first thing of of this is that hey do we have any tool of trying to see that if those devices are publicly accessible you know uh, to see some metadata uh, uh, and maybe can we track down the location of those devices uh, and maybe uh, you know uh, use those data to do some triage you know so this is something which which is very important in every you know security incident right so let us uh, see the procedure you, you know using the tool uh, uh, called shodan you know so shodan is available uh, you know on the web uh, they have a free uh, trial they have the free version as well as the paid version you know but they have a lot of things with 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 a free version so you can just use and you know uh, do and and we will go to the demo but first let me explain you the procedure so what we will do is that we'll use shodan for discovery you know the cyber security team uses shodan uh, to perform a search for the retail chain ip range or specific device type so you can either use an ip address to search for it or you can just type the keyword for example smart cameras or pos systems then you will be able to see if anything is coming on that you will be able to see that hey this is publicly accessible okay then you can un analyze those vulnerabilities so whenever you find anything there you will see also see some vulnerabilities that hey what are the cvs which are which are uh, which are discoverable you know what are the open ports that there are uh, uh, what are some of the attack vectors or some of the uh, you know potential vulnerabilities that can be exploited so you'll see all sort of data coming there okay and then uh, what else you can see what what other information you can see is the geolocation and asset mapping uh, this will help the retail chain to understand that hey which stores are more vulnerable you know? so you will when you find those ip devices you can just directly go to the location as well and they will give you the geolocation data as well, so, which is also very very useful uh, then uh, when you have those reports when you analyze those metadata you can then uh, you know provide recommendations that hey what are the things that you can do now you know let's say updating a firmware uh, changing default passwords you know if you are using default password that's also something which is not right right so implementing better network segmentation so the attack uh, by understanding the vulnerabilities you can come up with some with some strategy to prevent those attacks as well okay uh, then making sure that you are continuously continuously monitoring it as as more devices are, are coming up so if you can have a view that hey any any new devices coming up so you can know that hey this is not mine right <laughs> so you uh, needs to have those data coming in if you need to continuously monitor
so just now let's just go and uh, quickly uh, we can have a demo there okay so i'll share my screen here uh, let me see yeah so before we do that actually i want to know i want to just quickly show you that we can either search from as i explained earlier that we can either search from the ip address but usually if uh, the private ip address is there you know and it's it's hidden you cannot search it from the private ip address you know but you can search from the uh, uh, from the keywords as i have explained you okay so let's say for the example purposes because and and guys this is all what i'm teaching you is um you know the part where which is only for educational purposes okay you don't have to uh, use this uh, like in some other you know like with some other intentions you know so this is uh, uh, something which is which is i'm telling you okay so uh, now uh, you can either search it from the ip address as well as you can search it from the uh, keyword so we'll try try to show you both both ways how you can search it so let us go and uh, see this okay um let us go back here share screen and just go to that part okay so if i come in here you will see I, i've just you know uh, used the keyword called access communication so here you will see uh, all the devices belongs to access communication which is coming in here which is exposed public okay so there are 6494 devices which are publicly accessible and you can see all the details of of these ips and they can also give you the region so the number of the, the high number of devices are in the united states so this is amazing you know um which you can see so if i can just click one of them you know just to show you here we can also see the metadata of of all these devices which is for example this is from teles communication okay there are two open ports 443 and 502 so any any attacker watching it they'll be targeting these these two ports you know to send malicious traffic and to add to you know potentially see for exploitation uh and you also so can see there are a lot of cvs which are there so either they need to be patched or or something is you know uh, something needs to be taken care of in order to avoid exploitation you know because there are a lot of cvs which i can see here okay now if i know the ip address for example uh, what i need to do is i'll just uh, i'll just show you um that for example uh, what what i can use what ip address i can use uh one minute I'll quickly show you this so if i can just uh, just type in one ip address uh for example i choose this one 45.77 so what will happen is i'll just quickly show you this for example if you if you see an ip address if you want to search from an ip address you can also do it and this will show you for example this is one of the ip address which i took it just randomly and it shows that how much vulnerable it is you know so this is will give you a good indication and if you have to track down further that hey where these devices are located then you can of, of course do that you know using the paid version and they will let you see all those all those you know geolocation data as well which you can use to have a fair idea to what's going on with your with your systems right okay so this is a very uh, you know good tool and you know a, a real uh, you know a value addition to your security you know tools uh, where you can just go and search for different different like ip addresses or geolocation data to triage that incident okay so uh, moving on i'll just quickly go back to my presentation uh, the slide deck so you have explained you that you can you know search with different ways now the fun fact is i mean so we all know that you know you need to keep update your operating systems you know if you are let's say using windows you need to update to windows from windows 10 to windows 11 similarly for mobile if you having an android version they keep giving you patch updates and you have to keep updating those patches right the thing which which is uh, which is known is you know like the patches uh, comes up with some bug fixes you know so there is a possibility that uh, the version that you're using let's say two years back would, would be having some bugs and some vulnerabilities and that is why they have updated to a new version you know which which you want to update it but uh, security is is, is a, 
is it is a thing which we uh, which we take thing which we uh take for granted you know and we don't feel the need of doing any update so just to show you how much ignorant we are as a cyber security community you know and as as professionals working on the it systems okay either we don't we don't have the awareness of of these things or or there is no enough uh you know teaching material or or awareness being given by the organization we are working or or the peers that we interact with you know so think about uh, how much chances there are if somebody is using an xp windows which is i i remember when i graduated from my high school i used to uh, have a pc which have this xp windows you know which we which which came there which came i think in around around like year 2000 uh, and since then it's been 20 plus years you know so but let us see if if anybody is still using the xp windows you know so what I, what we'll do is i'll just quickly go to uh, a minute let's quickly go to and search for example uh xp windows to see if somebody is using xp so xp windows or not let's see hey see this 12287 results coming and mostly these are being used in china okay and so you can well imagine that how much vulnerability those systems were having you know um see the open ports oh my god <laughs> it's it's crazy you know so this is the thing that what you can think of that you know security is being just being overlooked you know nobody's taking this seriously maybe or you know or i think that what happens is or you know as we are seeing all these systems you know which are publicly accessible you know so this has to be some sort of like a policy or or uh auto update patch that should that should be sent to these systems you know we, which are completely outdated to make sure that they are running and uh, uh you know updated patches because hey here's the thing these systems can be used as honeypots or uh, or can be used as botnets you know to launch an attack to a targeted system you know so it's not about that you using a vulnerable system it, it means that you are being you can be used your systems can be used against carrying out some attack so this is uh you know not right you know so you need to be aware and and this is uh, we all need to come up as a community we all need to come up together and 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 to track down the system and make sure that we are not having any vulnerability you know in our uh, uh in any of the uh, like countries you know so this is something which i want to share with you uh so that's it uh from my side uh, uh i'm taha sajid signing off uh, i wish you all the best and thank you for supporting my channel it means a lot to me have a good day.